Dragon Claws were RuneScape 2's most feared and hated weapon. So much so that the old school RuneScape team promised to never release them, but they lied. Today, we find out why. So to fully understand why the old school team and half the player base were so terrified of Dragon Claws, let's go back to when they were originally released in RuneScape 2. They launched in 2008 along with the game's first ever Grandmaster quest, While Guthix Sleeps. Completing this quest would unlock the ability to kill tormented demons, which would drop Dragon Claws on average every 256 kills. Although tormented demons were kind of a pain in the ass to fight, they'd get flooded with players once the public learned how powerful Dragon Claws were. As a regular weapon, they weren't great, but everyone used them for their special attack, an incredibly accurate and fast attack that could drop your opponent from 70 health to nothing in just 1.2 seconds. Plus, you could use it twice before running out of energy. Those who were unlucky enough to be attacked by them were usually dead before they even realized what was happening. Claws for the next few years would absolutely dominate the wilderness. As a result, they became a very touchy subject in the community. One side considered them extremely overpowered, while the other thought it was perfect as is. But how can a weapon this terrifyingly strong not be seen as overpowered by nearly everyone? Well, the Armadil God Sword also existed back then, a weapon with a special attack that could hit about the same as claws. It had just one hit splat instead instead of four, so you couldn't start trying to out-eat the damage halfway through the attack because you'd already be dead. Those multiple hit splats that Claws had also meant that you could use a Phoenix Necklace, which heals you if your health gets too low, and you'd almost always survive. Since the AGS was just one hit splat, it would likely kill you in one shot, meaning the necklace couldn't activate. Finally, the AGS was more accurate than Claws, so why did half the game hate Claws when on paper? Paper, they seemed much worse. Well, it boils down to four simple reasons. First and most important was probably their requirements needed to use them. The Armadil God Sword required 75 attack to use, while Claws only required 60. A pretty significant decrease, especially when you consider all the lower level account builds that previously didn't have access to a weapon that strong. This leads us to our second problem, rushing. Rushing is when you attempt to kill a player before they even realize they're in battle. You rush up to them with a powerful weapon, dump your special attacks, and hope you kill them. If not, instead of fighting normally, rushers usually teleport away and try again with a different target. Sometimes rushers even take advantage of something called an animation stall, a graphical glitch that allows them to speed up to their opponent faster than normal, giving them less time to react. What makes this even more annoying is rushing usually happens right after you kill someone, so you just got this big kill, your heart is pounding, health is low, and some idiot 10 levels lower than you runs up and decks you while you're picking up your loot. Although rushing existed before Claws, Claws made it much more common. This is because of one big advantage Claws had over the AGS that I haven't mentioned until now. You can dump both special attacks much, much faster, as the AGS has an incredibly slow attack speed. But rushers love this weapon most of all for problem number three three. Claws were three times cheaper than an AGS, so losing them in a failed kill wasn't as big of a deal. Now the reason they were so much cheaper is because they were easier to get. At a 1 in 256 drop rate from Tormented Demons, Claws weren't common, but way more common than an Armadil God Sword. Not only was the AGS an item that came in multiple parts that had to be assembled, the main part, the hilt, was nearly double the drop rate of Claws, from a much more annoying boss. Now, the cherry on top, reason number four, is probably the main reason so many people hated claws back in the day. As the years went on, tons of overpowered updates got pumped into the game that made claws even more deadly. Things like summoning familiars, overloads, curses, and PvP armors allowed claws to reach an insane maximum hit of 129 under perfect conditions. Or technically 1297 because of that 
super well-loved update when they changed hit points to constitution and multiplied everything by 10. So now I think you can understand why claws were so feared. Fast forwarding a bit, Jagex launches the evolution of combat in RuneScape 2, which basically ruins the game, and a few months later we get old school RuneScape. Pretty much immediately, the team is flooded with questions like, will you be adding the Grand Exchange, or God Wars Dungeon, and of course, Dragon Claws. You might be wondering, why would anyone even consider adding something this powerful and meta shifting to old school? It's because if you had claws, they were beyond satisfying to use in both PvP and PvM situations. I mean, insane damage aside, just look at that animation. I thought it looked cool when I was 10, and you know what? It's still awesome. Plus, for a lot of people, 2008 to 2012 was their favorite era of RuneScape, and claws were a core part of that. But the old school team flat out said, on multiple occasions, no, claws are not coming back. Old school was RuneScape's second chance, and they didn't want to kill it just a few months in. A lot of the community agreed too, as when the team ran a straw poll asking what the players thought, it was a near perfect 50-50 yes and no split on if they should come back. But it didn't stop players from asking. At one point, the team was addressing claws on almost every Q&A livestream. It even got to the point where we almost got them as a reward for the game's first Easter event because the player count was in the toilet at the time and so many people wanted them. But luckily for the game's long-term future, Mod Reach shot that idea down. Claws were asked about so much that nearly two years after Old School started, the team had to put up a dedicated video addressing why they wouldn't get added. The video more or less cited all the reasons I mentioned earlier in this video, but even that didn't stop them from being asked about. Two years and two months after the launch of Old School, the team just finally had enough. They put up a news post at the start of April saying they had released the Well Gothic Sleep quest into the game, and completing it would reward you with a pair of dragon claws. No need to even grind tormented demons this time. So players completed the quest, got their claws, tried to equip them, them, and this would happen. The claws wouldn't actually equip. It would just play an animation that looked like you were using the special attack. So remember how I said the quest released at the start of April? Well, it actually released on April 1st for April Fool's Day. And the quest was really just a 10 minute run around the map instead of the incredibly long Grandmaster quest from RuneScape 2. The claws were useless aside from their fun little animation, but you can actually still get them today from Diango if you want to try and prank your friends. Now, you might be thinking, if players have asked about claws so much that the team made an entire event about them, why not just pull it and see what happens? Clearly a large chunk of the player base wants them. Well, regardless of if they passed or failed, it would have caused huge problems. So let's say they fail. As with a lot of highly requested items and features, players would pretty much instantly ask for a repoll. Let's say Jagex does repoll it. Well, then that undermines the polling system. They could just keep repolling the same thing over and over until they got the outcome they wanted, which, well, is kind of what happened with the Vesta's longsword, but players were not happy about that to say the least. Now, let's say claws do pass. Well, that's an even bigger problem. RuneScape has a system called the Combat Triangle. It's a lot like a game of rock, paper, scissors. Melee beats ranged, ranged beats magic, and magic beats melee. At the time, both ranged and magic were severely underpowered. The best magic gear in the game was Arum's and a Trident of the Seas. Ranged was a bit better with armadillo equipment and at least had the dark bow as a powerful special attack weapon, but melee was absolutely stacked with Bando's armor, god swords, the tentacle whip, and the list just goes on. Introducing claws could absolutely decimate the already struggling triangle, but claws do exist in old school today. So how did we get here? Well, the answer seemed to be time. If claws were introduced into old school in its first two years, they would have been one of the strongest weapons in the game, and the be all end all of special attack weapons in both PvP and PvM. However, as the years went by and things like the Dragon Warhammer, Blow Pipe, Trident of the Swamp, Dragon Defender, and most importantly, the Armadale Godsword were added, Claws started to seem a lot less broken. 
Claws were finally suggested by the team almost four years after the game launched as a possible reward from the game's first raid, the Chambers of Zarek. This update would also bring powerful magic-based weapons and armor, as well as the Twisted Bow, which needs no introduction. Claws finally seemed to make sense in old school, and as a result, they passed with a 77.9% yes vote. Although they had the exact same stats as they did from 2008 to 2012, this time around, things would be different. Getting Claws from the Chambers of Zarek is much, much harder than Tormented Demons. Not only is the content more difficult, the drop rate is astronomically lower. I'd say the average raid lasts around a half hour, and at the end, you have less than a percent chance to get them as a drop. As a result, they're much more expensive than the AGS today. The PKing community has also evolved a ton since 2012. Things like one ticking, combo eating, and so many other strategies were discovered and popularized after old school started. Claws are not nearly as scary today as they used to be, and many PKing veterans even consider them easy to counter. Most important of all, old school not having summoning, curses, or main world overloads also prevented the overpowered combos players back in the day had to defend against. Although the old school team said they'd never add claws to the game, in the end, I'm glad they did. It seems like claws were never the problem. It was really everything else that existed back in RS2 that made them so problematic. Now, I mentioned earlier that the old school team more or less forced the Vesta's longsword into the game. Well, on the right hand side of the screen, you can actually check out a full video I made about that situation. 